I've seen a lot of information recently about bump stocks on rifles, which got me thinking, can a bump stock actually simulate a fully automatic rate of fire, and can it shoot as fast as a fully automatic rifle can? Let's find out. Now we are going to be shooting a semi-automatic rifle. The only place a regular citizen could have access to a fully automatic rifle is in a gun range, where the gun range has the proper licensing and everything like that to be able to have those. Any normal citizen can't just go into a gun store and buy a fully automatic rifle. But they can buy a bunch of different semi-automatic guns. You can buy semi-automatic handguns, semi-automatic rifles, semi-automatic shotguns. There's a lot of different semi-automatic guns out there. And all semi-automatic means is you have one round that shoots out of the chamber with each pull of the trigger. With a fully automatic gun on the other hand, once you pull down the trigger and hold it, the gun's gonna shoot until there's no more rounds in the magazine. Fully automatic rifles shoot extremely fast. An AK-47 that's fully automatic will shoot out about 600 rounds per minute, while a gun similar to this one, which would be like an M16, will shoot out anywhere from 700 to 950 rounds per minute. Inside this AR-15, we have a 40 round magazine, and we're gonna see how fast this can burn through with the bump stock on, and then match that to a fully automatic rifle and see if it can keep up. Let's go. Now, I'm not a gun expert by any means. I have been shooting them for a while, just as a hobby, but I feel like I know enough to be able to test this out and see how it compares. With the 40 round magazine loaded in, we're gonna charge it. Safety's off, and we're ready to go. That was crazy. Now let's go back and figure out how fast this AR-15 went through that 40 round mag. One thing I definitely wanted to point out is with a fully automatic rifle, you're gonna have a lot more accuracy because you actually have the butt of the gun up against your shoulder and you don't have to worry about all the different parts. With the bump stock, you have the trigger, you have the gun sliding in and out of the stock. It's a lot more difficult to make sure that everything is in the right setting and the right situation for it to fire like that. With a fully automatic rifle, all you have to do is pull the trigger and as long as the trigger's pulled in, it's gonna shoot. But with the bump stock, everything has to be right. You have to make sure your finger's in the right place, the stock is sliding in and out as it's supposed to, and you really can't aim with a bump stock. You just have to point and shoot. So we're gonna do one more take just to make sure that we have this fully accurate. We're gonna see if we can burn through a full magazine all at once without stopping. So we'll load one more magazine in here. Let's go try it out. Handle's charged. We're ready to go. So the reason why it's hard to empty a full magazine at one time is because of the way that the bump stock functions. So you have to rest your finger inside the trigger guard and that allows for the rifle to move in and out of the bump stock. And then just the fact that it's bumping up against my finger as it rests inside the trigger guard, that's what simulates the fully automatic rate of fire. But the part that's difficult is you have to have your finger just right inside the trigger guard for it to fully simulate the fully automatic rate of fire. I mean, you could see how difficult it was for me to get everything right so that bump stock would simulate the fully automatic rate of fire. And for that reason alone, that's exactly why it's not as efficient as a fully automatic gun. So we're gonna fill the magazine up one more time, see if we can get it to go the entire mag. Once I got a few consistent rounds of firing in, I projected that over the course of a minute and I was able to find that theoretically, I could push out between 750 and about 850 rounds per minute with the bump stock on. But that's also assuming that nothing went wrong with the bump stock, it functioned as it was supposed to, and I never had to reload. So while theoretically the firing rate of a semi-automatic rifle could keep pace with the firing rate of a fully automatic rifle, I don't think that they can be truly compared. The rifle with the bump stock is far less accurate and is much more complicated to use than a fully automatic rifle, but it's still interesting to see how they compare. While shooting a gun with a bump stock can simulate a fully automatic rate of fire, it's definitely not going to be the same as shooting a fully automatic rifle because with the fully automatic rifle, you can hold the butt of the gun up against your shoulder so it gives you much more stability and accuracy while you're shooting. But it is interesting to see how many rounds this can shoot with the bump stock on it. Hope you guys liked the video. If you found it was interesting, make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and we'll see you around.